I totally did not fake this and shot this at night. Morning guys, it's about six in the morning-ish. Walking for a bit. I normally would just be inside. Well, I was inside already, just chilling on the couch. Blanket over me. This is just kind of how I wake up. I can't wake up all super nice and energetic. So I always got to chill on the couch for a bit. Here I am going for a walk. Just check out morning in New York. So beautiful. This right here is the promenade. Got the BQE right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to apologize about the noise. Normally I would be inside, but my girl is asleep right now and I don't want to be yelling at the camera while she's asleep. So as a fashion influencer, every chance I get to come up with a new fit is a good thing for me. So for me, I'm always in at least like maybe three to five fits per day. Because obviously it's my job. I always have to constantly be coming up with fits. A lot of them aren't that good. Here we have just a simple trucker cap, tote bag from Array, hoodie from Uniqlo, sweats, and Air Max 90s. Joe fits, I'm just going for a walk, you know. Isn't this cool? We got a right hand drive Mitsubishi van. Badass. So yeah, what I've been doing a lot lately is journaling with this journal right here. I usually just write down my tasks and all that and just think about my day. And this is basically what it looks like. You can get it from Amazon. And I'm just really enjoying the morning, you know? Ahsoka. So I'm about to go workouts and then you'll see me doing my hair later and whenever I do like to do my hair I like to use the sponsor of today's video Forte series. Forte series are my go-to styling products for my hair and I love every single product that they have. So this brand was founded by Alex Costa, shout out to Alex and we all know he has great hair. I strive to get there myself and these products help me get closer to that. So what I recommend you guys do is click that link in the description it'll take you to their site and you can take their hair quiz because for the longest time I never knew what product to use in my hair and that's what I appreciate about Forte. They educate you on why the product works and how to make it work effectively. And it's very nice and convenient to see exactly how Alex does his hair. It's right on the site. And so after taking the quiz, I learned that the texture clay would suit me best, which provides texture obviously, but also still has that natural look. You might be different depending on your hair and whatever hairstyle you're going for. Maybe a more shiny pomade might be better for you. But yeah, Forte has a variety of products from hairspray to dob kits, to shampoo and conditioner. They've got you covered for all your hair needs. And what's really cool is their products are either infused with argan oil, aloe vera, olive oil, which are shown to protect and improve the health of your hair. So as you're styling your hair, it's actually going to nourish your hair at the same time. I naturally have drier hair because of years of shampooing and not knowing how to take care of my hair. I guess that's not natural, right? And it feels nice that I'm nourishing my hair whenever I style it and that it washes off effortlessly. If you guys are interested, it would mean the world if you guys click that link in the description. You can use my discount code to save yourself money and support this channel. Really appreciate y'all and thank you Forte Series for sponsoring this video. Time for me to work out now. I do have an upcoming video on gym outfits and how to look good in the gym. So this is just me conceptualizing the video, just trying to put together gym outfits that I think would look really good. I mean, it really doesn't matter what you look like in the gym, but I know if you do feel good, you tend to want to go to the gym more, you want to perform better and stuff. And so this is that type of video. So I guess let's put together some gym outfits. Welcome to my mess of a closet. It's New York City living for you. So for me, a gym outfit always starts with a tank top. I personally really like working on a tank top, especially when you get that pump, you know, it gets you even more motivated. And typically I like to layer with my gym outfits. Starting off, it's going to be more layers. That way I can just warm up and basically get a sweat easier. That's how I know I'm warmed up, but let's start with the tank. And I'm also always a headwear guy whenever it comes to the gym. Then some simple gray joggers. And then finally, we got this performance running jacket. I think outer layers, whenever it comes to uh, athleisure, looks really good. You're gonna warm up easier, sweat easier. You're gonna feel good, you're gonna look good. And then for sneakers, we're still gonna roll with the incredible good old Ultra Boost. They still perform well. They still are a great sneaker for athleisure especially. Obviously, the hype died down whenever it comes to you know your normal outfits, but I'm still rocking these. This is not a bad fit. This, not bad at all. All right, let's go make these gains.
pretty solid workout right there. Um, I'm gonna have a quest bar. That's a quest bar, a little protein bar. Currently I am cutting because it's uh, getting warm, it's the summertime. So I guess I'm, I'm not really gonna be making gains, but I'll be cutting and this is gonna be my first amount of calories for the day, which will be a lot of protein. And Ahsoka wants to say hi. Mm -hmm. It smell good to you? Can't have any. Mm. I'm gonna go shower now, go do my hair, and then we're gonna get ready. Just got done showering, so usually what I normally do is put some sort of nourishing oil in my hair. I haven't shampooed in a few days. I usually don't for like three to four days, but my hair is just always naturally dry. I think it's just years of shampooing and negligence and not knowing how to take care of my hair. But I know putting a, some sort of nourishing oil is going to help with that. And I know this video is brought to you by Forte, but I really actually just use their argan oil. But as you can see, I'm basically out. So lately, I've been trying out some liquid coconut oil. There's a lot of studies on coconut oil and for many benefits on your hair, your skin and all that and so this has just been my replacement for now thought i'd try it out but honestly i really love the forte series argan oil it smells much better than your standard argan oil and it does wonders for your hair and another thing i was absolutely not doing before because i was stupid was brushing your hair you want to brush your hair so that you can spread the the natural oils or any of the nourishing oils that you put in your hair you want to brush it so it gets to the tip you want to comb and brush through your hair so you can spread the those nutrients around and also any of the oils that you put in your hair will naturally protect it from heat. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go blast my hair with heat uh, in a safe manner and then we'll go do my hair. Okay, so this time we're actually gonna be using the molding paste. I like the textured clay, but we thought we'd try something new this time. Get a decent amount right there. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to go to the flea market because every Saturday, there's a Brooklyn flea market where it's just a bunch of vintage stuff. It's really, really cool. So I'm probably gonna pick up some accessories, um, maybe some clothes, I don't know, we'll see. This is something me and Christian have been talking about. Frugal aesthetic, this is something we've been talking about, just doing something with our girls. That's what's something we need to work on, we just need like a break from just social media. So we thought we'd try this out, hopefully it works out. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of fun. All right, but yeah, this is what I like to do with my hair, just start in the back, move it towards the front. And what I was doing before was I would just slick it back like this. And, uh, <laughs> and people that give advice on hair, they say to do this, they have perfect hair and I wish I could do that, but it doesn't work out for me because it just tightens it up because I have thick hair. So there's like more, it's more dense. So there's more hairs per square inch. So I have to be really loose with it. I'll just add some texture like this. I might use like two fingers to like go through my hair. And you know, something along the lines of this, nothing crazy. And there's a little bit more texture and it's because of the product I've been using and a little bit more knowledge on how to work my hair. We'll see what happens, what I do with my hair. I might grow it out, I might go with the buzz cut eventually. I'm still deciding, what do you guys think? So yeah, I'm going vintage shopping today. It's about 70 degrees outside, which is kind of warm. It was pretty chill this morning and now it's getting hot, so it's probably gonna get cold again this evening. So we're gonna put together a fit that suits that weather and because I'm going vintage shopping, I'm gonna be wearing a bunch of vintage items. So we're gonna style a fit that will suit that silhouette. So because I'm gonna be trying a bunch of different vintage items, I think you'd want a fit that'll suit that item so you can really optimize and see how it'll look on you like if i was wearing a full suit to the flea market i wouldn't be able to really see how a vintage item really looks on a fit does that make sense so i'm going to start off with these nike sb ftm cargo pants you guys know this has been uh worn a lot by me and i've thrown on an extended belt from idol ido this is more of a tech wear functional clothing brand but they do make a belt accessory it's only 20 bucks and it really adds a nice visual detail on the fit and I think we'll keep this tank because it's pretty warm outside, so I'll just wear a light outer layer because it's probably gonna get cold tonight as well. So I'd want something to keep me warm when it gets colder. And I think I'm gonna roll with this vintage denim jacket. This actually came from my dad. I basically just took this. I said, hey dad, I'm gonna take this. He said, okay, cool. And this is perfect because it's already a vintage item and if it goes onto the fit well, then basically anything I try on at the flea market will look pretty good too. And because it's pretty warm and this denim jacket was made in the 80s or 90s, this is pretty heavy. So we're gonna cut the sleeves Get some more airflow going, you know? And yeah, we got blue and brown, which are complementary colors. I will have a color blocking video soon. So we're gonna throw on some jewelry. This one right here, I'm not sure if you can see that. This necklace right here is from APC. Then we got some jewelry right here. This cuff right here is from Me Sai. Then we got rings from the brand called Lupin. Some really, really cool designs and I definitely recommend you guys check them out. 
And then to really nail that vibe, we're gonna roll with the Casio watch. Old school look to it, and I really enjoy just this watch. It's super affordable, and this is more so my mo most worn watch than my Seiko watches and all that. It's just easy to throw on, tells accurate time because it's digital, and it's also super light as well, not too heavy. And then for our kicks, we are gonna roll with the Rick Owens Dark Star Converses. And because this has a fat tongue, you'd want the tongue to stick out. And then I'm also going to toss on a tote bag because I don't know what I'm gonna get. And you always wanna be able to carry stuff around. Here is the fit right here. This is a pretty overkill setup with the, the camera, by the way, but pretty simple. And if you could really find a denim jacket like this that's made in the 80s or 90s, they're just made different. They are made with better materials. They have a more boxier cut. So even when you do cuff the sleeves, it has a really cool look to it. But yeah, this is the fit y'all. Excuse the mess right there, but let me know if this is something that you'd wear. For me, not everything has to be a banger outfit. You know, every single time I come up with a fit, this is mainly for my situation today where I'm gonna be going to the flea market. I'm not gonna be an IG Explore page every single day, you know, sometimes I can get a little too much for me. Let me know if you guys wanna see more of these videos on this channel. If you guys want some more, I'll do some occasionally, but if you guys wanna see more of them, I do have a vlog channel. It'll be linked in the description where you guys can get to see the behind the scenes, follow my journey of this social media career. And yeah, I hope you found some of my morning routine helpful to you. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you guys check out Forte Series, our sponsor in the description follow me on the other socials and until then stay fly deuces